Hey there, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to my channel. My name is Renee and welcome. I am so glad you're here. I have a question for you. When you go to somebody's house, somebody that you know, your mom, your sister, your son, your daughter, your best friend, what is one of the first things you do? Well, I will tell you what I do. The minute I walk in my sister's house, I go straight for her snack cabinet. I wanna know what she has to eat. And the minute my father walks into my house, he goes directly to my snack cabinet. So if you're like me, I get blinders on at the grocery store. I absolutely hate doing the grocery shopping, but it's gotta be done, right? So I am super organized, I make a list, I go to the grocery and I get in and out as fast as I can. I do not wanna browse around, I do not wanna look for new items. In today's video, I thought I could help you out. I am gonna go around my kitchen and show you the food items that my family and I love, items that we consistently buy over and over and over, and you might find something that interests you. So here we go, let's get in the kitchen cabinets. So let me say, I have not organized my cabinets, I have not cleaned out my kitchen, and, and this is part of, this is, this is what makes it interesting. Anytime I ever do a video and I show my kitchen or inside my cabinets or inside a closet, I get so many comments from you all about things that you see inside my cabinets that I never even mentioned, things I didn't intend for you to see, but you all love to see inside my cabinets. This is the main like junk food cabinet in our house. And I'm gonna show you this cabinet first because this is my father's favorite cabinet. And I am not kidding. He will burn a hole in my carpet from the front door to this cabinet the minute he gets here. And there's always something he wants to eat. So don't judge me y'all. We eat chips in our house. We eat junk food in our house. So let me show you some of our favorite things. Well, there it is. This is our junk food, cereal, I don't know, catch-all food cabinet. The chips. You already know we have a Cheeto addiction in our house, but let me show you what else we like to eat. Cheez-Its. Extra toasty. My daughter Brecken doesn't eat Cheetos, believe it or not. She eats Cheez-Its. She has been eating Cheez-Its. It is literally her favorite food since she was about two years old and she just turned 18. When they came out with the extra toasty version, she went nuts. Let me show you what these look like. If you've never bought them, they are so worth it. You can see, look how toasty and brown they are. Extra toasty, these rock. Well, today we have Puff Cheetos, which almost gone and we have cheetos popcorn y'all i gotta tell you if you are a cheddar popcorn person which i am this cheetos cheddar popcorn is awesome i don't like fake cheddar tasting now i know this is probably fake cheddar and i don't care but it tastes like real cheddar some brands it just tastes like fake cheddar but it is so bright orange and i love this stuff and maxi and pollux love this stuff so this is my snack of choice. Cheetos, cheddar, popcorn. We always have Tostitos Cantina tortilla chips. Always. We like them with salsa. I don't know, but every night when I'm cooking dinner, we have chips and salsa and a beer. And so we love these with salsa or I'll whip up some guacamole super quick and we love our tortilla chips. I said Brecken doesn't eat chips, but that's entirely, that's not actually true. This is the one brand of chips that she does like. These are so good. They are super crunchy and crispy, which is fantastic in a potato chip. And y'all, with that cracked pepper, I think these have a little bit of a spice to them. There is a little bit of bite. I'm not somebody who likes spicy stuff, so I can only tolerate these a little bit, but Brecken and Randy love these things. This is my speed on the chips. Plain, regular, thin, crispy, lace chips. Love it with some French onion dip. Oh, look what I found in the back. We always have a backup Cheez-It. We cannot find ourselves without Cheez-Its. So if one is almost empty, there is always a backup. Pretzel crisps. 
I love hummus and pretzel crisp. I'm gonna show you the hummus when we get in the fridge, but a regular little pretzel just does not do it for me. I gotta have my pretzel crisp. And I love to just sit down and eat pretzels and hummus. Pepperidge Farm whole grain thin sliced bread. This is the bread that we prefer. I always try to buy something that's like whole grain or has the full grains in it. I just, I just like it. And so this is what we eat. I love that it's thin sliced because I'm not, I'm not somebody who wants a big old honking piece of bread on a sandwich. So this is just really good bread. And we always have flour tortilla shells. We can whip up lunch with leftover chicken, pork chops, shrimp. We can just do cheese quesadillas. We can do tacos. Like we can always find something to make with these. And you all saw my video where we did the fruit salsa and these were the, what I used for the cinnamon tortilla chips. So we always have flour tortillas. So right now, my oldest daughter, Kendall, is home from college. They're on summer break and she's home for two weeks. And so we have some things in our house that we don't normally have here. They're things that she loves. And every time she is here, she buys Laura bars in different different flavors but she just loved these loves the lara bars because they just have very few ingredients in them they're very wholesome they are vegan and so she loves the lara bars and she just always gets a different kind of flavor Ooh, we're getting to the good stuff pepperidge farm lexington cookies oh if you are dying for a cookie these are the cookie you want. Let me show you what they look like. So Lexington cookies are milk chocolate, toffee, and almond, and there they are. That's how big they are. And when we buy these, the cookies are never broken. That's something that makes me so mad about other cookies. You buy a bag and the cookies are in crumbs. I, I don't understand, but the Lexington cookies are never broken. They have huge chunks of chocolate and toffee in there, and these are just really, really good cookies. One of my favorite, favorite little snacks, if I need something sweet, which is several times a day, and I, I don't wanna sit down and have a cookie, I mean, I don't want that kind of sweet, I just want a little something to grab it and go, this is my go-to. Brookside dark chocolate covered blueberries. Oh my gosh. I only need like five of these and I'm done. That's it. They're sweet. Five does it for me and I'm good to go. And I can just nibble. I mean, I never get tired of these things. They're just that size. Little whoop, dark chocolate covered blueberries. They're so good. So sweet. My absolute favorite go-to besides the next thing. Sweet and tart. Dove milk chocolate covered almonds. I love these too. Between the blueberries and the almonds, this is my little sweet snack. I need some chocolate. I need to grab something. True North almond pecan crunch clusters. Sam's Club. These are so satisfying. There's almond pecans and cashews in sort of like a toffee cluster. Just kind of looks like that. You can see all the nuts in there and they're held together by just a very, very light kind of toffee coating. There's just a little bit of sweetness to it, not a lot, and they're salty because of the nuts. So you get the salty, the sweet, and the crunch. And when I eat these, I feel like I'm actually eating uh, a snack that's very healthy because it's not a candy bar, it's just nuts. Mm. Mm. We have salads a lot, and these are my favorite crouton ever. I'm a crouton snob, I'm so picky about my croutons. I don't know how to explain it to you, I just know when there's a crouton that I love, and this is it. The Marzetti garlic and butter crouton. This is the only crouton that I buy. Marzetti brand makes all kinds of flavors of croutons. That's not what I want. I want these. I want the garlic and the butter. These are so good and Brecken will sit and eat these out of a bag. She's not a salad person, but when we have a salad, she puts a pile of croutons on her plate and this is what she eats. Now it's time for the cereal shelf. 
I'm a cereal eater. I love cereal, not all the time, but I do love cereal because it's just so quick and easy. There are days when I'm gonna get fancy and make a big breakfast, but then there are days I just want some stinking cereal. <laughs> it's just that simple. I'm not a junk food cereal eater. I am a healthy cereal eater. So let me show you my two favorites. Kashi Peanut Butter Crunch. This cereal will change your life. I love peanut butter and most peanut butter cereals are peanut butter flavoring. They taste fake. This Kashi or Kashi, I don't know how you say it, brand is coated in real peanut butter. You can feel the peanut butter in your mouth. Oh, I love the cereal. Brecken and I, every week when I go to the grocery store, I have to buy two boxes because she and I together will go through two boxes of the cereal. That is how good it is. This brand is made with whole grains. It is really good cereal for you. It is not full of junk like the cereal that your kids eat. See it? It's just little, uh oh, little clusters covered in peanut butter. So, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My other favorite cereal, and I rotate between the two cereals back and forth, just depending on my mood. Cascadian Farm Organic Honey Oat Crunch. Oh, I love to have this with fresh fruit. I don't eat it by myself. I love to put strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, blackberries, or bananas, or any combination of those fruits in with the cereal. Just makes me feel like I'm eating something so good, so healthy for me. It's organic cereal, organic corn flakes, wheat flakes, whole grains, oat, and honey. And y'all know how much I love honey? It's just a great cereal. I actually had it this morning. That's what it looks like. Pollux will get that. He's right here. <laughs> but this is just fantastic little crunchy cereal with your favorite fruit. Excellent, excellent, excellent breakfast. Y'all, I love honey. I drink it in my coffee every morning and I want to say thank you to Anita. She saw in one of my videos how much I loved honey and sent me a message. Her husband is a professional beekeeper and they live in Texas and she sent me some honey, some local Texas honey. So I'm going to be enjoying some Texas honey in the morning. So thank you, Anita. I really, really appreciate it. Next, we're going to get in the fridge. I'm going to open my fridge. Don't know. So here's inside my fridge. There it is. Leftovers from last night where we cooked. Um, we've got lots of fruit. We always have blueberries, blackberries, and raspberries in our house. Always. In our house, we don't drink soft drinks. Ever. We just don't have them here. We really never have. We are tea drinkers, unsweet tea. Randy will drink unsweet tea all day long. I am a tea drinker only with dinner. Otherwise, I'm water, but this is our favorite tea. Now, yes, we will brew tea sometimes, but it just takes time. I don't, I don't know. This is just the easiest way. We love the Gold Peak unsweet tea. We actually sell this in little bottles at our ice cream shop because it is so good. I buy about three bottles of this a week at the grocery, and this is our drink of choice. I told you, I'm a cereal eater. I don't buy regular milk at our house. We love this oat milk. It is milk made from oats. Y'all, this is the bomb. Brecken and I love this stuff. This is what I put in my cereal. She puts it in her coffee in the morning. When Kendall's home, this is what she drinks. I am such a fan of Planet Oat that I've actually talked about it on my Instagram page and my Instagram stories. I love Planet Oat. So I will buy two and three of these at a time because our grocery store seems to sell out of the oat milk 
really fast. So when I catch it in stock, I get several bottles and I keep backup oat milk in our the refrigerator in our garage, which I'm going to show you. That's where we keep the goodies. But oat milk for my cereal and my coffee. So I told you I love hummus with my pretzel crisps. My favorite hummus is Sambra uh, roasted pine nuts. You can tell this is almost gone. We went to the grocery the other day and Kendall picked out the roasted red pepper. And it is really good too. But let me show you inside then. Well, mm. the red stuff is, for, is from the pine nuts. There was a pile of them in the center. And I always eat the pine nuts first. So I'm just left with the oil. But I love the roasted pine nuts. And the roasted red pepper looks like that. You got the red pepper in the middle. I will eat about one of these a week, just me. So when Kendall's home, we go through this stuff pretty quick. And, and Brooklyn likes it too. We eat a lot of hummus in our house. Something else I love is this minced garlic. I cook a lot. I cook every night that I can. And we love garlic in so many dishes. And y'all, I'm going to be honest, I am not gonna just buy fresh garlic all the time and have to chop and do all the things. I think this is fantastic. It is fresh. It is chopped. I just dip out what I want and I go. So this is great for cooking. My daughter is a ranch fanatic. She has to dip everything in ranch and this is her ranch of choice. Ken's Steakhouse Buttermilk Ranch. Not the regular ranch, Got to be the buttermilk ranch. And at any given point, we have about three bottles of this in our house. Speaking of salads, I'm a Thousand Island girl, and I also like Ken's Steakhouse Thousand Island for my dressing. Randy is an Olive Garden Italian. Everybody has something different they like, but this is, this is what we go through when we're having a salad. Frank's Wing Sauce. I love to make homemade chicken fingers, not wings. I don't like wings, just homemade chicken fingers. And we dip them in Frank's wing sauce and Ken's buttermilk ranch. We always have lots of fresh produce and vegetables because I love to cook. But do you ever buy these little, what are, I mean, they're just little peppers. They're multi-colors in a bag. There's orange. We ate all the yellow ones. We, we had a lot of these for dinner last night. Orange, red, and yellow in a bag. I love these things. You can cut them open, dip them in hummus. We will roast them. We'll put them on the grill. They're, they're just the perfect little size. And if you don't want like a full-on huge pepper, and I go through about a bag of these a week. We always have peppers in something. Okay, moving on to the freezer. So if we're gonna have fries, and they're fries that I'm not making homemade, there is only one type of french fry that I will buy. If they don't have it, we're not having fries. They're Orada Extra Crispy Fast Food Fries. Here's why I love them. I am not gonna fry french fries. It's hot, it stinks up my house, it's messy, just not gonna do it. I'm not gonna fry french fries. We bake these french fries and because they are already like fried sort of, you lay them out on a sheet pan, spray them with a, just a dab of cooking oil and bake them for, you know, 15 to 18 minutes and these are the perfect fries. And if you're looking for a good onion ring, if you don't want the fries or even with the fries, this is the only onion ring I will buy. Orada Gourmet Onion Rings. Now, you have to be careful because there is a bag that looks just like this that just says onion rings. No, not good. You gotta get the gourmet onion rings. These are the perfect, crispy, perfectly seasoned onion rings. You can bake them, which we do with our fries, or you can fry them, but this is what you want. Orada Gourmet Onion Rings. We really eat the fire out of this rice aroni. The cheddar and broccoli, I love to steam broccoli and then add it into this. It's just cheesy, it's good, it's easy, and then we're adding the fresh broccoli. So we do eat a lot of cheddar, broccoli, rice aroni. This is our pantry. Not anything too interesting here in here other than 
Pike Starbucks Pike Roast Coffee. This is what Brecken and I drink. I drink two cups every morning and she drinks a cup. So I buy it at Sam's and we go through a lot of coffee. Here's where the goodies are. The backup fridge in the garage. Oh, I don't know y'all. Okay. Well, we have beer. We always have Corona. Always, always, always. And this is where I keep backups of everything. Brecken uses Coffee Mate. Okay, I don't want to hear it from y'all, but we like Red Bull. Every Saturday afternoon, Randy and I share a Red Bull. It's our thing. We have Red Bull. My backup oat milk, of course. And eggs, and I don't know, randomness. White Claws. Have y'all had White Claws? These are fantastic. We drank all the other flavors. We're just down to tangerine. And we just have random beer out here. We like to try different things. Perrier water with lime and tequila. Here's our backup tea. This is looking kind of bare out here right now. Oh, and then look, I told y'all I would buy these french fries. If I came across the french fries, I buy the french fries. We cannot risk running out of our extra crispy fast food fries. So that's it guys. Those are my kitchen favorites. Those are the food items that I buy consistently. Every time I go to the grocery store, there are things that we love and I think you should give them a try. Whether you're looking for a new cereal, a new snack, those are my go-to and they're highly recommended. So you got to be sort of a voyeur into my kitchen cabinets. I don't know whether you think they were messy or clean. Let me know in the comments below, but thank you for joining me in the kitchen. I'm so glad you were here and I'll see you next time.